Okay, wasn't that fun? Now you've got all these great photos of all these people, you know, your friends, your family, all sorts of things like that. And those are great, just as they are, great. But in this badge, I wanted to also show how you can edit those photos. Now let's not get carried away. Let's not make the whole world this filtered, edited world. And that's why you gotta be careful. You gotta be cautious when it comes to editing photos of people because we might get um, too used to seeing an edited world rather than just the natural world with flaws and you know how we look is how we look. So just be careful with it, have fun with it. That's what it's all meant to be is just entertainment not an artistic, not to say this is how we, we see the world now. So let's get in there and let's start editing a photo now that I've kind of given that warning, that timeout saying, be careful. Okay, so on my iPad in my photography folder, we got used to using Photo Toaster in level three and that's a great app for adding filters and doing editing on people photographs as well. So you can go ahead and go in there and put on the angry pants filter and you'll have a great photo probably of the people that you're taking photos of. But let's now, for this badge, let's use another app called Pixelmator. So I'm gonna go into here, I'm gonna tap on it to open it, and then I'm going to add another photo. So I'm gonna tap on the plus button and go to photos. And let me go in here to my photos and pick the photo. I'm just gonna do it to one photo. So I've selected one photo that, uh, that's that been taken by a student, it was unedited, and I'm going to now go in and um, work on it. Make it, make it something into a piece of art that you could hang on a wall. Okay, so here we have our image. Obviously it's the pose of hand on knee. I'm just gonna make it smaller so we don't lose anything to the menus here. And um, I don't think I have to do any cropping because you know they've got, it's, it's got a really good layout to it. You know, there's good spacing around it. So that's good. So I don't have to worry about cropping. But now let's get into actual editing. So I'm gonna tap on the paintbrush up here and I'm going to add effects. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna take a look at is this vignette, just adding a darkness around it. And you can see you can change this here. And I'm just going to bring in the sides a little bit there. I like that. Okay, let's mess with a little bit of uh, hue and saturation. Let's make the colors pop a little bit more. No, 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 that looks purple, blue. No, I don't really like how we're going there, so I'm going to cancel that one. We don't want to use that one. Um, let's go ahead, see if Sharpen does anything for us here. Nope, don't like that one. Remember, this is kind of hit and miss. You're just gonna go in there and you start messing with the different controls and your artistic eye will start to see and go, oh, I like that or I don't like that. So just really trust your artistic eye. Okay, um, I'm gonna try maybe a light leak. This is a really kind of a cool effect. Let me just go put that in over here on the side. Almost like this is an old mistake that used to happen with film cameras when a little bit of light would get in there and expose the film inside of a camera, you'd get this kind of effect on there. And, and I really like it, it like, I like it a lot. It looks really good. So I'm actually going to, oh man, I don't know what to do, what to do. I like them all so much. There's different ones down here. Um, I just really wanna move it off to the side, almost like film got in, got in on the side there. You can see I can rotate it, I can move it around. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think I can go back to this one here, move it over. Wow, that is great. I'm gonna just apply that one there and I'm gonna call that one done for now. We're gonna continue editing, but I'm gonna, I like that one how it is. So I'm gonna call that done and I'm going to uh, send a copy. Oops, sorry, I'm going to uh, save to photos. I want to copy the image, so I'm going to copy to photos. I don't want to go over the original, right? So I want to copy to photos. So let's go back into here and let's get the original again and start doing some more messing around with it. Okay, you can see the original and then the light leaked one. Let's go back into the original because I saved a copy. That's important. You have a copy of it. All right, let's load that up. Okay, now let's go in here and do some other things here. Uh, there is adjust colors here. You know, you can you can make them all. I'm gonna go with the rich color here and hit apply. Uh, there's other things we could do some retouching and some painting on here if we wanted to. And you can go ahead and experiment with those if you want. I'm not really gonna get them get into them on this level, but I wanted to show you that they exist right there. 
Okay, I still want to go in here to effects and I want to go into a Boken effect. Boken is, is that light coming into your lens and it does a really cool thing. And it usually takes a really big lens. And kind of, we're kind of faking it here on, on an iPad. I just, I'm working with these Boken effects here. I, I'm pretending the light source is kind of coming in. Yeah. Just, I don't want, I don't want to put one on top of his face. Like I don't want one like that. I want to work with his face and there's all these different kind ones we could try here, but I really just like, like that one there. So I'm going to apply that one and say, I'm done and export that one as a copy to photos as well. And I'm going to do one more just to see what I, what I like here. Okay, now let's go back in. Like I said before, I like the colors. I like to do rich on the colors. I like what that does to the, can the photo. And I'm going to go in here to effects again. And let's just see about focus. Okay, so I want to for sure keep him in focus. Kind of like that, but we're blurring the edges here. Um, I don't know if I like that. Let me just go ahead and take a look at it. Um, no, I, I don't like what that's done here. So I'm going to undo that one. Yeah, let's just, let's go ahead and undo. Okay. We're back to the original again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that vignette back on there from before. I like that from before hit apply. And then, um, Let's take a look at noise. Ooh, no, don't, don't, don't like that one. Now, Sharpen will really find two pixels that are contrasting and then really enhance that. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to cancel that as well. I think we've really kind of got a good thing going here. Let me just go ahead and see what we got in front in the retro one here. Punk, urban. Art Deco, I like that urban one. That is looking great. Okay, so I'm gonna apply that one, hit done, and then we're gonna save a copy of that. And then we're gonna open these up and take a look at what our final products of the one photo and just done, I think, three or four different ways here. Okay, so let's take a look. This is our original here, okay? So it's a good looking photograph, nothing wrong with it at all. We could probably frame it and put it on a, on a wall. And then we go to this one here. This is now starting to look really good. Again, we're not changing how this little human being looks. We're just enhancing the kind of the layout of the photo here. And that's one of the things I really like. I think people should still look like people. So let's just uh, go through these here. Oh, this one, look at how, I mean, this one is beautiful. You could absolutely put this one in a gallery. I mean, with that Boken effect that you have coming in here, it looks like it was taken with some thousand dollar camera out there and it is a great, great effect. And then this one here, it's dark here. I, I'll give you that. It's a little, little dark on his face, but I kind of like what it's done here. It's a really, really nice effect. Yeah, I like how, how that's looking on there. That's great, really great. And then back to the original. So anyhow, that is how to edit your photos using Pixelator, Pixelmator. And so go ahead and give that a try.